Hey friends, thanks for joining me today for a multiplication game that you can do at home. It is called Circles and Stars. For circles and stars, all you need are a few simple things. What I really like about this game is you can play it by yourself. You can play it with a family member. You could probably even play it with a friend over Zoom or Google Meet too, as long as you have these supplies. Are you ready? You will need some markers or something to write with. You'll need a piece of paper. You will need some dice. So go in your cupboard and take a couple dice out of a board game that you have. You can use those. And last but not least, some paper to record your score. Because we got to make sure we write down our number sentences to help our brains remember these facts. Okay. Circles and stars is just like it says. I'm going to roll one die to start, and that's how many circles I'll get. Then I'm going to roll my second die to see how many stars, and then I'm going to add them all up. The goal is I'm going to be making equal groups of numbers, the same number, over and over. And I can add them up and then put them in a multiplication sentence. Are you ready? Step one, I need to make some circles. So I'm going to shake, shake, shake. Ooh, yes, five. So I'm going to make five circles. I'm going to make my circles big enough so I can draw some stars inside. If you make your circles too small, it will be hard for you to put your stars inside. So make them a good size for yourself. Okay, I roll my circles. Awesome, now I have to roll some stars. I wonder how many stars I'm gonna get. Come on, come on. Ooh, three. Three is my number of stars I'm going to be making in each circle. One, two, three. 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 Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five groups. I gotta make sure I record my score now. I have five groups, five circles. And the last time we talked about multiplication, I told you to help your brain remember this, is when you see this multiplication sign, this little X, I want you to think in your mind, groups of, to help you remember what we're doing here. So I have five, groups of, let's see how many, one, two, three. I have five groups of three stars. Now, I can either count by threes, I could count each star individually, uh, or I could even add, I could say th three plus three is six, and six plus three is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 stars all together. I have five groups of three, which gives me 15. I could also read it five times three equals 15. But you'll notice I'm really just adding three over and over again five times to get 15. All right, let's pretend you're playing with someone else. I would draw a line in the paper so that you know this was your side and now your friend gets to go. So let's see what they get. I wonder if they're gonna beat me. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Oh no, they got six. Already they're ahead of me because I only rolled one, two, three, four, five. So your friend would draw six star or six circles, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's their groups. They have six groups. And let's see what how many stars they're gonna get. Shake, shake, shake. Oh my goodness, six! <gasps> That's a big score. So they would draw six stars in each circle and want to make sure that they're being accurate <laughs> so make sure that they're counting their stars and that each one of their circles has the right amount we want to make sure that when we're playing with other people that we're being fair and being a kind sport okay i'm almost done one two three four five, six. Oh, 
Okay, now it's time to record our answer. And just by looking at my picture, I can tell that my friend already got a higher score, but that's okay. We're gonna just keep trying and it's just for fun anyway. So, if you were to record this, you would say you have one, two, three, four, five, six groups of, groups of, remember when you make that X, just think groups of. And let's see how many in each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six groups of six equals, and now comes the part where it will help your brain. You can count each one of these stars up, you could skip count by sixes if you want. Uh, you could do some big addition. Whatever will help you to remember this fact. And let's pretend I was counting, 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 and all of a sudden, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. And six more is six, 36. Wow, my friend got an awesome score on their first try. Six groups of six stars equals 36. And if you wanna get extra fancy, you could read it like this. Six times six equals 36. But either way, I think my friend and I have a ways to go to see who the winner's gonna be. So that is how you play circles and stars. I hope that you enjoyed watching me show you how to do this game. And I hope you give it a try at your house too. It's a really good way to get your multiplication facts uh, locked into your brain because not only are you using your hand and you're using pictures, but then you're also making that number sentence. So you're practicing it two ways. So I hope you had fun and I hope you give it a try too. See you next time.